Layaways. Before starting a layaway, it is important to establish layaway rules, which start with basic setup at the back office. To do so, click Setup on the main menu, then click on Location Setup, and finally select POS Setup. On this screen, enter the percentage amount for the minimum layaway initial payment required. This will allow setting up the minimum amount required as the initial layaway deposit at the point of sale. Then enter the layaway notice note. The layaway notice will print the layaway policy on the receipts only for layaway transactions. Layaways. The customer reserves the merchandise and makes periodic payments until the total amount is paid in full. This process is called layaway. First, scan some items to put on layaway. The layaway button, F8, is enabled only after the customer is selected. To select a customer, press F4, then find the customer. When the customer is selected, it is shown at the top, and now the layaway button, F8, is active and the layaway can be processed. Select the tender. Enter the required minimum deposits shown by the system to be paid for this layaway and press Enter. At this time, each item is committed to the layaway inventory. Two receipts are printed, one for the customer and one for the store. Monies paid will be reported as deposits until they are used to finalize the transaction into sales. To make a payment for an old layaway, Click on the Tools icon, or F2, and select Recall Layaway. This will show the list of open layaways in the system. Enter the customer's name and find the layaway. Then select Pay, or press Enter, and proceed to either complete the sale or accept another partial payment for this layaway. For partial pickups, Simply click on the Tools icon, or F2 button, and select Recall Layaway. Find the customer and select the desired layaway record. Once the layaway is recalled into the POS screen, select the item to be picked up and press F7 for Pickup. This marks the item to be picked up in red. Next, go to Pay, or press Enter, and process the payment for the balance only for the selected item. The system will keep the minimum deposits for the items remaining on layaway and release available funds for this partial pickup. The system only requires the balance to be paid for the partial pickup. If the amount tendered is more than what is required for this partial pickup transaction, you have the option to designate the difference towards deposits for the remaining layaway items. If this is the case, click Yes. At this time, the delivered items will be reported as sales and a receipt will be printed accordingly. A layaway receipt will then be printed for the items remaining on layaway. The updated receipt will show the deposits left for the remaining layaway items. The deposits made to the layaway will be shown on the company's sales report separately. To see Total Sales Report, click on the Tools icon or F2 button and press T. This screen shows sales data for the current location. At the head office, you can view information for all stores. On the Department Sales and Deposits column, deposits are shown separately for layaways, special orders, on holds, and gift cards. Double-click to see the details of these deposits in a layaway transaction list. The same is available for gift cards, special orders, and so on. To pick up the remaining item, you have to recall layaway by clicking on Tools or F2 and press L to recall the layaway. Select the layaway to initiate the POS screen and proceed with payments. At this time, Deposits from this customer are used towards the transaction for this merchandise. Enter the remaining balance and press Finish. A layaway may be cancelled if a customer does not return or changes their mind, 
or after a certain period of time passes according to store policy. To cancel a layaway, click on the Tools icon or F2 and press L for Layaway Recall. Find the desired layaway from the list and press Enter. This will bring the layaway to the POS screen. Layaway and special orders will allocate inventory accordingly, and the remaining inventory will be shown as available. Any special notes will be written under Invoice Notes, which will be printed on receipts. If the logged on user is authorized to cancel a layaway, the Cancel button, F8, will be enabled. If there is a deposit paid on this layaway, a window will appear with the following choices. A. Cancel and issue a credit note to the customer. B. Cancel for refund, in which case the money is refunded. C. Cancel with no refund. D. Return to the layaway. You may select the desired action depending on store policy. Select the desired option and continue. For example, if cancelled, the item is released to available inventory and a store credit is issued and printed for the customer. Credit notes are shown in the list, allowing them to be redeemed at all locations, in full or in part. To view a credit notes list, click on Tools or F2, then click N Credit Notes List. A screen will open showing the details. The upper screen shows a list of credit notes, and the lower screen shows all transactions against it. This list may be sorted, filtered, and printed according to the details on the screen. For more information, please email info at mhsystems.com or contact 905-470-1008.